For local coverage now, themes are on the loose in Jupiter Farm, stealing one family's pet goats, striking twice in just a few weeks. News Channel 5's Vince Norman has the details. This is one of the last moments Rafael Ibarra would spend with his pygmy goat, Weebles. I just really want my Weebles back. It's my first actual pet. Weebles was one of three goats taken from this Jupiter Farms residence over the past few weeks. Born prematurely, Ibarra nursed Weebles back to health after the kid was abandoned by her mother. So we had to take her in and wrap her in the towel and rub sugar on her gums and her back leg wasn't fully developed so she couldn't walk. That's why her name's Weebles, because she wobbled. <laughs> the very trait that endeared her to Ibarra and the Teasley family may very well have been her undoing. Friendly to a fault and slow to run away, making her a tempting target. If you have food, though, they'll come right up to you and eat. <laughs> Just like the other two goats, the Teasley's first goat, Sugar. First time I'd ever seen Sugar smile, she ran across the yard when we were unloading the goats to bring because she wanted companionship. And she just smiled really, really big. And that was just great. And Gracie. And the first goat that they got, she was pregnant. Two to three months pregnant. The goats were pets and treated like members of the family. And the Teasleys can't believe anyone is capable of doing this. Quite disturbing. You know, somehow here, you know, snatching goats, keep an eye out. There are people out there that definitely want to, you know, take what you have. The Teasleys will be taking precautions to protect their remaining nine goats, and they're asking their neighbors to be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. In Jupiter Farms, Vince Norman, WPTV, News Channel 5.